Hey everybody, this is Darkseid, and welcome back to part 14 of our Max Payne 3 walkthrough. Hello. Hello, Victor. Max? Max, you're, you're, you're alive? Of course I'm alive. We did of not know this. I'm alive. We are lost, Max. Our brother was everything to us. I understand. Listen, I'm, I'm sorry about your loss. Both of you. Rodrigo was a good man. I failed him. I, but I was tricked. What happened, Max? I don't know. Some guys from the crush of Prado came into the building downstairs, so while me and the security guard were dealing with them, an assassin must have come in and executed your brother. I... At least that's how I think it happened. No, you killed him, Poha. You killed my brother. What are you talking about? I, I understand you're upset, but please, why the hell would I do that? To get his money, to take his money. How am I getting his money, Marcelo? Please, think. I worked my ass off for your family. I saved your life twice or more. And right now I'm going to get Fabiana. Where is she? Where is Fabiana, eh? She's in a place called Nova Esperanza. How do you know this, Max? One of the crotch of Prado told me just before he died. Please, bring our sister-in-law back to us, Max. Our family is being torn apart. Yeah, that sounds like a good enough thing to do. So I guess I was finally about to go and experience the other side of Sao Paulo firsthand. The bit people try to ignore, the unpleasant memory they try to obliterate with cocktails and helicopters and parties and lines of blow, like rich fools the world over. I was a day off the sauce for the first time in years and knew I was due a hangover sent direct from Mother Nature. I had no idea where the hell I was going to go, so I decided to head straight for the street party that seemed to be raging. Either that or some other fool had gotten there before me and now was being ritually sacrificed. I've had better ideas. But then I've also had worse ones, like accepting this job in the first place. <laughs> no shit. E aí, gringo? Get lost, kid. Eu me amarro nos States. Você precisa de ajuda, senhor? Speak English? Aham, uh -huh, falo sim, sem problema. I need to know if you've ever seen this girl, Fabiana. Come here for a second, look at her. I know lots of girls, sexy. Come on, come on. This way. Where are you going? Wait a minute. He's not taking you someplace, Down there. I guarantee it. <laughs> Isso. Jesus. This way, come on. Doesn't this just feel like a trap? Come on. At least I found myself a tour guide. The way I see it, there's two types of people. Those who spend their lives trying to build a future, and those who spend their lives trying to rebuild the past. For too long, I've been stuck in between, hidden in the dark. What was I really doing walking in there with my bad haircut and ridiculous shirt? Was I there to make something right? <laughs> or was I just using a messed up situation to indulge myself? Grasping at some desperate delusion of control. Maybe the two went hand in hand more than I cared to admit. Oh, there's a party he was talking about. Oh, who's this dude? I had stumbled into some kind of street party. This was the kind of reality Americans paid top dollar to see. 
Slums had become tourist attractions, places where yuppies could gawk at the endless spirit of the poor from the inside of their bulletproof buses. I felt dumb and exposed. I missed the booze. Not that it mattered, sober or drunk, I was hardly undercover. I stood out in this place like a streetwalker in a monastery. <laughs> And here it comes. Continua dando caralho. Que porra é essa que você tá fazendo aqui? Como que você sai entrando aqui assim? Anda, anda, vai pra lá. O que você tá fazendo aqui? Eu tô te perguntando. Eu te chamei aqui, porra. Easy, pal, easy. Ah, então. Você é americano de merda. Ah, look, I didn't mean any offense. Me dá só uma razão pra eu não te matar, seu americano burro. Ah, ah. Desculpa, amigo, por favor. Passa ah. tudo que você tem, viado. Pega o dinheiro dele, pega o dinheiro dele. Ah, here we go. Ah, relojão, hein? Passa aqui. Anda logo. Anda logo. Da puta. Valeu, mano. Bem-vindo à favela Nova Esperança. Agora não, fora daqui. All things considered, I was gonna have to look on this as a good outcome. I was deep in gang territory. These kids were raised hating clowns like me. Middle income ass kickers who protected the rich by shooting kids like them. Me without a gun. First day off the sauce, and somehow I'd still ended up in the gutter. Hmm. Well, it was kind of a trap, I suppose, but not exactly the type I was thinking of. The kid just brought me over there. I bet you said his buddies could rob me. Since I've been here, it was that Brazilians came out of the womb kicking a ball, and for kids like these, it was their one legal chance at a ticket out of here. I'm a little lost. Perdido? Onde uh, uh, estou? Tá no lugar errado, rapaz. Ah, no comprende. Uh, I need a phone, a telephone. Bora. Publico. A gente não é centro de informação turística, não, Bri. Well, they weren't going to help me, and who could blame them? Yeah, no I was kidding. a dumb American in a place where dumb Americans were less popular than the clap. If I was going to find my way out of this mess, I was on my own. It looked like there was a bar up ahead. The irony was not lost on me. I figured sobriety was no use to me dead. Ah, meu, passo baseado. Ih, não tô a vez não, passa aí, meu. Aí, tem visto a irmã do Wilson, mano? O que que esse cara quer? Aí, bela camisa, hein? Tu perdeu o fusão, mano. What's this? Okay. How can you tell it looks like there's a bar up ahead? Can't see anything that far ahead. is a bit more than a bar. I hoped this classy looking establishment would have a phone so I could call Passos. Either that or a gun so I could shoot myself and save these kids the bother. Hey, got a telephone? Telephone, vai, lá no fundo, segue em frente. When you're stuck in a foreign country and you don't know the words for reverse charges and you're in some lonely skin joint in the middle of some poor slum having just had every last cent robbed from you, 
and you call yourself a bodyguard, then you know you're a loser. Hey, Matt, <laughs> can I buy you a beer? Do I know you? Oh, I don't think no. so. Look, if you're gonna shoot me, you make it quick, I'm a little busy. <laughs> if I was going to shoot you, I wouldn't waste a beer. Wait, come on. I'm trying to dry out a bit, so just a soda, please. Sure. Why don't you go sit down? Guaraná pra ele, um choque pra mim. Bem gelado. Interesting haircut, by the way. I meant to tell you that. <coughs> yeah, well. Wilson da Silva. Very good to meet you. Nice to meet you, I think. Although you'll forgive me if I promise never to employ you as my bodyguard. You did a great job watching after Rodrigo Branco. Fuck you. <laughs> you were set up. Bet your ass I was. Now, let me ask you something. Have you ever seen this guy? Serrano. Yep. He's a real sweetheart. Yeah, you sure put his gang out of business. But don't worry, those guys, they're a small fry. This is the guy I'm interested in. Yeah, he must be the big Nevis. fish, huh? And this is his little buddy here. Milo Hegel. They work for this vigilante group. Again. Crasha Preto. Yeah, I know him. Well, they're very popular with right-wing politicians, like Victor Branco. Now, you see, many years ago, he helped clear some villages on a bit of land Rodrigo Branco wanted to develop. Rodrigo Branco? Yes, he did some very bad things. Anyway, have you ever seen this guy? Maybe at the stadium. I knew you were involved in that business. You know, I wanted to investigate that, but I got an order to blame it on some local street kids instead. Tell me. Oh, what yeah, he's that cop, huh? Nothing. We simply went to hand over some cash to this guy's clowns for a, a ransom exchange when this guy's clowns jumped us and they shot everybody. Apart from you and your boy Passos. That's right. But we had to shoot our way out of there. <laughs> they let you go. <laughs> it's okay, it's a little weird right now. But I know that Victor Branco is involved in all this. I just don't know how or why. And I know that the Ufe are involved in all this as well, but I just don't know how or why. Well, I was kind of thinking and it was you know what's gonna happen? job. The moment is gonna come along when I put all these pieces together, and at that moment, someone is gonna come along and put a bullet in my head. Anyway, listen. I think you might want this. Hey, thank you. I'll need it. And if it's Fabiana Branco you've come looking for, I think she's up the hill. So why don't you just go get her? I don't know. Well, I'm a cop. I mean, I'll fight corruption. I'll stand up to the rich and dumb, but if I go up that hill right now, I'll be dead in three minutes or less. Maybe you too, Max. You're in the jungle now. So it appears. If you survive the next hour, let's speak. You help me. And I'm gonna well, do what I can else to help I got you. To do. Good luck. I didn't know what to make of what this guy had just kind of told. That our what was true and what was just someone else's here very well might have also been then part of this as well. Friendly locals came in and found me in the wrong mood to party. E aí, Green? O que você está fazendo aí? No comprende. Leave me alone. Você tem alguma coisa para mim? Do you got something for me? For you? I'll tell you what I got. I got a gun, and if anybody thinks they're gonna take it from me, they'd be dead wrong.
And that concludes this section of our Max Payne 3 walkthrough. Remember, if you like these videos, please click the like button. And if you'd like to see more, click subscribe. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.